Welcome to this online course. I'm going to give you a quick tour on all the items that you need to cover before getting started. Once you get into the course, this is the initial screen that you will be looking at. So there are a couple of items that you need to complete prior to being able to begin with the weekly modules. Now just keep in mind that this course is going to be divided into mo weekly modules. So every week uh, a module is going to open up with new things that you're going to have to complete. Okay, so everything is going to have a deadline of Sunday. So make sure that within the week you have to complete everything that is in that specific module. So, my name is Dennis Salinas, and first of all, I uh, I think we're going to go over the syllabus, which you can find on the left side of this screen. I'm going to go over a couple of details, things that you need to know. It is a very extensive syllabus, but there's a lot of information that needs to be covered. So, first of all, this is my email address where you're going to you're gonna use to contact me anytime you need to talk to me about anything related to the course. Keep in mind that uh, sometimes I might not be in my office, so uh, you can leave a voicemail or you can send me an email, which is the fastest way of replies. Now, these are my office hours that you can find on the top of my syllabus. And also the times that you will never be able to reach me, these are the times where I'm going to have class this fall semester. All right. My office number, in case you're on campus anytime during my office hours, you can go ahead and look at me at set B 2.254, second, second floor. Okay. Now, this is just a description of the course, of what, of what it basically covers, and this is a prerequisite that you need to make sure you have before getting enrolled into this course. You need to have passed intermediate algebra, which is MAD 0322, or have meeting the TSI uh, standard score. Okay, um, you're going to find on the left side, right here, there's a link that says Outcomes. It basically gives you a list of the outcomes, everything that will be assessed in, re in relation to the course. This is the general course outcome, you know, from the whole course itself. And these are the separate student learning outcomes that, you're gonna be, that, that will be assessed throughout the, uh, throughout the semester. Okay? Now, these outcomes have little unit outcomes that you're going to find in the outcomes section of, this, uh, of the, on the screen on the left side. You're going to have sub, uh, like little outcomes per unit, like we can call it, okay? And that feed in into each one of these five outcomes that you see here. So that's for your information. Now, there are a couple of things uh, the Texas core curriculum needs to be assessed on in this course. Of course, uh, like on any other course, critical thinking skills will be assessed in this course through a lot of uh, application problems through a lot of questioning, you know, we have a lot of critical thinking skills in the course. We also have communication skills. Now, and quantitative skills. Now, quantitative skills, we have that. We critical thinking skills, we also have that. Now, in terms of communication skills, there's going to be a lot of things in which I'm going to be assessing your, the, your communication skills. First of all, one of them is going to be through the discussion forums. You're going to have to be submitting discussion forums weekly. And uh, once I go through the assignments, you know, you will see that's one of the assignments that you will be submitting weekly to me. Okay? Another one will be that you're going to present a project almost towards the end of the semester in which you're going to actually create a PowerPoint with voice in which you are creating a presentation of a topic that I will give you. Okay? I will talk about more details about that in a bit. Next, these are the resources that you need to have in the course for the course. Some of the resources says that this is a textbook, Blitzer, uh, Robert Blitzer, Algebra and Trigonometry. Uh, it's a sixth edition. It does not need the it, the paper copy of the book does not need to be bought unless you you want it. Okay. Because there is one thing that you will be using, which is my math lab. I'm going to go over that. That's something that is going to be required. And in my math lab, there is an electronic textbook already embedded. That's what I say. The paper copy is not required for this course. 
Now, that my MATLAB, I'm going to give you the information about how to access it. It's going to have a cost of $103, which usually was used to be within the tuition before. Now it is separate from the tuition. So keep in mind that, you know, uh, it's still considered to be part of the cost of the tuition, but now you pay it separately. Now, um, it is recommended that you use a TI-83 or TI-84 graphing calculator in this course. Um, now, this is the course stru structure, so keep in mind that everything is going to be done through Canvas Learning Man Management System, and there's going to be a lab attached to the course. In that lab, you are required to log in for at least 15 minutes every week, okay? So that's going to be based, that's going to be how the lab is going to be, be measured, and it counts as part of your grade, it's going to be 10% of your total grade. So you need to make sure in order to get those 10%, you need to at least log in for those 15 minutes weekly into the My Math Lab. That's where the labs are going to be held. Okay? Mm -hmm. So the course is basically organized into weekly modules. Okay? And I'm going to show you the dates so of everything. And each, each week, it's going to be listed by basically some learning resources which won't be graded, such as textbooks. Uh, textbook readings, uh, video lectures, PowerPoint lectures, and there's some graded activities that will be assessed, such as discussion forum assignments that I told you about, online homework assignments, online quizzes, online reviews, and uh, online exams. And of course, the weekly labs that you have to submit for at least login for at least 15 minutes per week. Okay. Um, now, let's go ahead and start off with the next thing. Now, there's two types of discussion forums. The discussion forums, that uh, one of them is a general help. This is just the, uh, where you can post questions. If there's any course mechanics, any course problems, technical issues, that's where you can report those questions in the general help forum. And there's also going to be forums in which um, you're going to be assessed in the course. So that's going to be 5% of your grade. Okay, I'll talk about the percentages more in detail right now. Okay. Now, um, let's go through the assignments right here. So the, all the assignments will be online homework, online quizzes, online reviews, online exams, and the discussion forums. Okay. This is a, a, an outline that I want you to keep with you at all times. Uh, however, you're going to be getting this information in many different ways. This information of the weekly modules is basically going to be sent to you through announcements per week also, so that you can keep those things in mind. Also, there is a page, anytime you go to every module, there's a beginning page that gives you all this information of what needs to be submitted and by when, every week. Okay? So keep this with you at all times because it gives you the deadlines and the activities that you need to submit every week. I'm going to skip over that for right now so you can get more, feed that in more details. Now, this is one of the main things that you need to have from day one. So at day one, I want you to go ahead and purchase the, what we call the access code for my MATLAB. Keep in mind that my MATLAB is a mandatory thing, so it's not optional. Now, to get the access code, basically, this is what you're going to do. To register for this course, though for this online course, you need to go to PearsonMyLabMastering.com. You're going to, uh, on the register, you're going to select student. You're going to confirm the registration. So follow all these steps right here in this form so that you can get the access online. Okay? So, and then they give you, anytime, once you, anytime you want to sign in later, it gives you where you have to go to sign in, which is the, the same website, my Pearson, uh, Pearson, my, my lab, mastering and mastering.com. Then you sign in with your username and password that you create, and then you get into the course. That is going to be my course right here. Okay. Um, you can also, in case you don't have uh, the, the money like at the beginning, you can also get a temporary code. And that temporary code, it gives you the, the, uh, the instructions right here before how you can get that code and that is only available for 14 days. After those 14 days, you need to get the full-time code by purchasing it for $103, okay? Now, 
For technology requirements, just go ahead and read over this information of what your computer, iP iPhone, iPad, or uh, Android phone, anything that you're using to get into the website, all the requirements that you need to have so that the system operates smoothly. And also there's some uh, student technical skills. Basically the technical skills that you're going to be using here is how to use the basic programming such as Word, Excel, well not those, in specifically from Microsoft Word it will be PowerPoint. That's going to be the main one. Okay. Also how to send emails, how to download attachments from emails and so forth. Okay. Then it gives you all the information for the computer and the internet speed, supported browsers, and screen readers, software, and all that, all that information. Okay? If you have problems with uh, technical, if you have technical issues, it tells you what you can do so you can uh, uh, you know, fix those issues. The, one of the main things is that you can submit a Canvas help desk ticket by sending an email to helpdesk at tse.edu. Okay? And there's a location of where the IT help desk is located in Oliveira Library. Now, these are the core, core course components that right now when I show you the modules, this is what you're going to see. Textbook readings, which is not graded. Keep in mind, those are the components that you're going to use as learning resources. So anything that you don't understand, you can look at it in all the different resources to see if whatever helps you the most to understand the material. We also have some practice exercise pages that I'm going to give you that you can look in the textbook so in case you need to look for practice problems. Then there's some video lectures that you're going to see on the sections right there that are created by myself. You're going to see uh, those are not graded. Those are just for learning purposes. This is just for you to learn the material, mm -hmm. those three yeah. items. Okay. Now, the ones that will be graded that you're going to see is these components down here. You're going to see that you're going to find online homework assignments, online quizzes, online exams per chapter. And then there's a project that to assess the communication objective that I mentioned to you prior on the core core objectives. And then there's going to be discussion boards that you're going to have to submit every week. Okay. There's going to be my math lab. Those are the weekly 50-minute labs that you have to in get into. Doesn't, it doesn't matter whether you complete the, 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 you know, the actual sessions because the sessions are more than 50 minutes. So as long as you do work for at least 50 minutes weekly, and trust me, my math lab is going to help you a lot because I'm going to give you a lot of videos in there uh, to basically facilitate the lectures and the material a little bit more. Plus an, uh, a couple of exercise problems in which you can get help from the My Math Lab program. It can help you uh, how to solve the problems. It can give you examples on step by step how to actually solve them. So it has a lot of um, things that you can use for your benefit to learn the material. So I would say that uh, you're going to like this and you're going to prefer to stay more than 50 minutes weekly. Another thing is that you're going to have online reviews for exams that you're going to have to do. Those count also as homework assignments and then you have the final exam at the end of the semester. Okay. This is the grading breakdown that you're going to have. The homework is going to count as 15% of your grade. The My Math Lab assignments for the 15-minute labs at least that, you, that you're getting to 15 minutes at least is 10% of your grade. The discussion boards is going to count as 5% of your grade. The online quizzes is 20%. Online exams is 30%. And the final exam is 20%. And of course, the grading conversion table for the GPA, for your, for your own information. If you want to view your grades in Canvas, you just go to Grades on the left-hand side, and, and you're going to be able to see your grade uh, you know, up to date. Next, um, when I ask you for a project or any document to submit, there's a, a, a way that I want you to submit it. It's basically the first initial of your first name and your last name. Dot doc, dot PPT, dot AVI. If it's a video, if it's a PowerPoint, whatever is it that I request from you. Um, like for example, my first and last name, Dennis Salinas, will be D Salinas at, and then whatever extension or whatever extension of the file that is being used. Next.
there's some library information for you. This is for you in case you need to visit the library. It is provided 24-7 for you. Okay. Just read for that information and this is the library website. Next thing, we have some general policies that we need to go over such as participation. Okay. So you're going to be required, of course, in the, uh, to participate of, uh, mainly in the discussions. That is a requirement from the course, so you cannot deviate from that. Okay. Um, you need to complete all the assignments through Canvas and all the assignments in my MATLAB. So you're going to have to complete them from both parts. Now, uh, the next item is that if, you, if there's any student with a disability that you need accommodations on, then you need to make sure you let me know so that we, uh, we, we tell the disabilities office about uh, your, your, the certain disabilities that you have. And uh, you can contact the disabilities office directly to this number or through email to Carol Sandoval. So Carol Sandoval at uh, tse.edu. Now, these are some of the expectations that I have for you. Uh, I need you to make sure that use some of the learning resources to learn the material as needed. So whichever ones are, uh, are best for your learning benefits. Now, you need to work on all the assigned modules as scheduled. Online homeworks, quizzes, reviews for tests, test discussion boards. Everything needs to be completed in a weekly manner, in a weekly manner on each of the weekly modules that I have assigned. Okay? You need to work on my MATLAB weekly for 15 minutes each week and the website is right here for you. Now, this is some information about the graded assignment details. For online homework, you need to make sure that you work on all the homeworks when scheduled. So let me go up a little bit. You need to work on all the uh, online homework when scheduled on Canvas. Now, just keep in mind that the homework problems have a limited number. You can do them on a limited number of times. In other words, you can retry. If you don't like the score of your homework the first time, you can try it over and over and over again until you get a satisfactory score. Keep in mind that you cannot move on from the specific homework until you get a score of 60 or above. That is a requirement from the course. Okay? So at least you need to get a 60. And keep in mm -hmm. mind you can try the homework over and over again until the 60% is achieved. So, next one. Online quizzes. Now, the quizzes need to be taken when scheduled. Uh, Canvas will automatically stop the quiz when you reach the maximum allotted time. So the, time, the quizzes are timed for 90 minutes. So you, once you sit on the computer to start a quiz, you need to have that 90 minutes or whatever time you need to actually complete it. Okay? Once the 90 minute is over, not 90 minute peri period is over, then the quiz will automatically close. Okay? So be big vigilant of your testing time. Now, for quizzes, you are given two attempts per quiz. So the, the, the system will record the highest of the two attempts automatically. If you miss a quiz, the deadline of a quiz, a zero will be recorded. <laughs> for the reviews, now there are some reviews for tests that you're going to have to do, okay? And these are required. In order for you to be able to take an exam online, you are required to at least submit a, every review and get at least a 60% mastery or higher. If you don't get a 60% mastery or higher on those reviews, then you won't be able to take the exam the following week. So make sure that's very crucial that you submit those reviews for tests. So then you're going to have the chapter exams. So those chapter exams online, they will be online also. Uh, they will be timed as well. Uh, every exam is going to consist of 15 minutes, so make sure that you be vigilant of your testing time. Uh, you need to finish the exam within the 15 minutes, and you're only given one attempt on those. Okay? So if you miss the exam, then the zero will be recorded automatically. Okay. The next thing is that we have discussion boards. Now, read this information, which is very crucial and important you are required to submit a, re a response to every weekly discussion topic that I put in the system. Okay? In order to receive full credit in your discussions, 
you need to make sure you answer to a, the discussion question yourself in complete sentences and make sure you check for proofreading and for punctuation. And not only that, after you submit your response, then you're going to be able to look see the responses from the rest of the students. You need to respond to at least one of your peers in order to receive full credit. Okay? Make sure that you use the correct punctuation where needed and proofreading. Okay. Now, this is the last item that I have already mentioned. You are required to log into my math lab every week for at least 50 minutes to complete the activities scheduled by myself so we can comply with the last portion of the class. Okay. Then the last part of this uh, uh, syllabus is going to talk about the college policies such as the uh, satisfactory Academic Progress, SAP, uh, with that you need to maintain a GPA of 2.0 or higher, and also com uh, complete at least 67% of your course work attempted every semester in order to maintain that standard. Another thing, incomplete grades. So if you cannot finish the material because of an emergency or extin extenuating circumstances, then you can go ahead and request to, you, to your advisor, you can request an incomplete. So, and that way you can give, be given 90 days after the beginning of the next semester to complete the, to complete the course requirements. If you do not complete it within those 90 days after, then you're going to receive an F automatically. Okay. Then academic integrity, make sure, be honest with all your work because any dishonestly incidents such as cheating or anything else will be reported to the Vice President of, in of Student Services automatically. So do not feel pressure on, uh, you know, if somebody pressures you to cheat, so try not to cheat on anything, just be honest with your own work. And the uh, last thing would be The FERPA statement, basically what it tells you is all the rights that you have as a student. Um, as a student, you have the right to inspect and review your own education records within 45 days of the day the college receives a request for access. You have the right to request to amend of your education records if you believe they are inaccurate or misleading. You have the right to limit uh, the disclosure of personality identifiable information designated by the college as director information. You have the right to file a complaint with the U.S. Department of Education concerning an alleged failure by the college to comply with the requirements of FERPA. Okay? And it gives you the information of the, ad the name of the address of the office for FERPA. Right. So again, if you have any questions on any of the syllabus items, you can go ahead and shoot me an email at any time. Now I'm going to show you, give you a tour within the rest of the stuff that you can find. So if you go to the home page, you're going to find all the modules. Now right now, of course, you're not going to see those modules. You're going to, every week by week, they're going to be opening up. Uh, you need to make sure you complete the start here module that basically tells you my personal information so that you can get to meet me and also initial instructions of the things that must be done first prior to starting the work. Also, it shows you the course syllabus. You need to view the course syllabus yourself, and you need to look at the course schedule and download a copy for yourself so you can keep at all times, so that you look at the deadlines, weekly deadlines for everything that you're going to do in this course. Then, you're going to have to take, get very familiar with the syllabus information because you're going to have to take a syllabus quiz before you can uh, get into the first module on week one. You need to make sure you get a 100% on that syllabus quiz. It is very crucial that you can answer those questions correctly. Okay? And once you finish with that, you will be able to move on to the first week and the second week and so on. Every week, every, each module is going to open up to you and make sure that uh, you, you're going to see uh, a page right here with instructions. It basically gives you the instructions of the topics that will be covered this that specific week, and all the basic all the learning resources that you can find in there that will help you to actually learn the material. Okay, and then it's going to give you the objectives for everything that you're going to do with uh, you know on those assignments. 
the objectives that will be covered, uh, the general objectives, and also the unit objectives that, that feed in into those general objectives. Okay? These are all the things on the assignments that you will have to do every week. So you can find that on every weekly module. The first page will actually show you all this information. I'm going to go back to the home page. Now, you can also find uh, on that every week, you can see you can find PowerPoint lectures, textbook readings. Uh, my, uh, there's also some notes that I have provided that I created myself that will help you. And there's some video lectures also. Okay. Now, that's going to happen for every week. And just make sure you complete the coursework within every week before Sunday hits. Because by Sunday, every week module is going to be closed. Now, uh, you're going to see that you're going to receive announcements in your home page also. Uh, every announcement is going to be sent every beginning of every week so that you know what's due and what needs to be completed every week also. Okay. Now, uh, also you see that every week has a discussion at the end of each week. So there's a discussion topic. When you click on that, you, sh you need to make sure you complete every discussion, every discussion question, and make sure you answer to one of your peers as well. Okay. Then, like I said, then you're going to see the outcomes. This is just additional information for you, so you get familiar with all the course outcomes, like in general, so that you see what the outcomes consist of. Uh, SLO1, it gives you the general information and all the little object unit objectives that feed into it. Also, a student. Uh, so student learning outcome two, three, four, and five that you saw on the syllabus. A couple of last items. You have a smart thinking online tutoring. This is going to be something for you to basically receive online tutoring whenever you need assistance. Uh, in this this uh, system, uh, I mean, this tutoring is 24/7, so you can access it whenever you need help at any time during the day. And that will actually be all the things that I need to mention. It was my, it's going to be my pleasure to work with you. If you have any questions, do not forget, you can send me an email at dennis.salinas at tsc.edu. Or you can contact me to my, uh, to my office phone number, 956-295-3555.